Mika Tosime, a student from Makere University, never let his physical disability deter him from pursuing his dreams of becoming a radio broadcaster. He conquered the odds when he decided to build a radio station in the comfort of his hostel area. Of course, we are still running up to the hour of 7 p.m. And of course, uh, it's the evening cruise right here with a uh, short leg and Eugene behind the microphone, the man of his voice. Because I remember in 2017, 2016 around, I was jazzing with my brothers and I was telling them like, it will be one day I will hold, own a radio here in Ntungamo. The short legend, as known to many, is now hiring fellow university students to assist him in spreading important information on his radio station. This is Up Close with Ivana Kato, proudly sponsored by Vice Versa Global. Enjoy. I was born in uh, Chishamiruhama, Ntungama district. I'm from a humble background. I think I had the most challenging childhood because of the challenges I used to get, uh, which included getting dislocation or uh, the bones colliding. I couldn't stand. Then, as my parents are so religious, so they engaged in more prayers. And um, when time went on, I started leaning against the wall to stand. But regardless, my parents were so caring. I attended school. I got good points. They were 14 points. Then I was admitted to Makere University on a government sponsorship. The radio is Infinity Radio. It is an online radio station that I came up with uh, in April 2023. Uh, I was inspired by uh, music production because I'm so much into production. Like, I, I felt like, why don't I take it further beyond production? So I started up podcasts. So in podcasts, I couldn't share them. I was doing them like for self-test to see how am I building my confidence and how can I uh, improve it? So after that, I shared it with uh, my few friends. They were like, yeah, you are good to go. So that's when I came up with uh, the radio. I situated my studio in my room of residence, where I divided the room into two parts, uh, one for studio and another part for my beddings and uh, my belongings. When I wake up, okay, I do, first of all, I first set the equipment, uh, how it is going to be operating, and I leave it in the, okay, sometimes I do have lectures in the morning, but where I leave when my presenters are conversant with what uh, the setting is, then we do run up to midnight. The show that I started up with, maybe, it was a showbiz show. Uh, which was the Fat Friday mix. Uh, we call it a vinyanya nyanya. <laughs> so uh, there we could host uh, some student artists. Okay, like they tell us what they do, uh, what inspires them. So like we share. Uh, it was an amazing experience. When we looked at it, we were like, why don't we create also other programs? So that's when we come. Uh, we came up with uh, a bundle of programs. Has your family been supportive in this this journey? Yeah, not so much. At first, for them, they have the perception that when you go into music field, mm -hmm. you, you are turning into a uh, boyai, but which is not the case. And what is what, what is a boyai in English? It's a a, a, a sack. Yeah. Looks like yeah, similar to a thug. Yeah, <laughs> similar to a thug. So they thought you were, they thought you were venturing into that. Yes, but uh, eventually, or along the way, they saw like this can take me somewhere. 
because uh, sometimes I could get like some invitations to go and perform somewhere and uh, yeah I come I come back with something and they get okay they they appreciate now they started appreciating my work I had some rumors say like yeah this guy is quitting music in this empire so we are definitely waiting for this I wanted to create a platform for some journalism students to get um, a practice space because no most of times you find that they are struggling to get the space uh, where to do practice from as they are also studying we are getting around 1500 listeners in a week uh, though we yearn for more then uh, they are um, the listeners most of them are youth and we have uh, some programs that engage them like the campus vibe yeah so we bring uh, the youth campuses we host them they say out their issues they discuss about certain topics those who have talents they do show them up so feedback they are loving the thing well uh, concerning challenges they are mean first of all funding you know everything i do i do uh, fund myself and uh, i use the allowance the government gives me to fund the station uh, the problem we mostly face is the internet thing since we are online we run on internet uh, so when the wi-fi of the university is off definitely we are not broadcasting then another thing uh, it's some disruption noise disruption from the environment since we are operating in a youth environment and uh, it's um, uh, more of residence so you expect some outside noise then uh, another challenge maybe is was uh, inconsistency because most of my presenters are students you find that maybe she has been caught by a lecture and she hasn't presented then concerning the achievements i think i myself have gained that leadership skill uh, and um, management skill because now if you can sit and you schedule you come up with the show you schedule it uh, you even it has given me the confidence to work with other people because one may come i'm in second year but you may find my presenters some of them are in year four and there is no way you could approach them or what but that one creates uh, that relationship Uh, the vision we have after campus i want to, to take it further it's to get its frequency then we shall uh, put it somewhere else but not far from the student space so because most of my reasons for starting it up was to more engage students and the youth at large especially those in institutions. Disability is just the nature. It shouldn't define your future and what you are. So uh, whenever you have something that you have passion towards, you should work hard towards achieving that instead of always complaining of your disability that you have most of times I embrace my nature and uh, you see physical I'm short and I embrace it I don't regret so I said like can't I be one of the short people who have become legends uh, so that's how I wanted to achieve the legacy so short legend is the true definition of a real legend we hope you love this episode don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Vice Versa Global. And until next time, bye-bye.